this is Laura Mitchell and I'm reporting to you live from the Digital Health Summit studio at CES 2016. I'm with two of my good friends today here on the studio floor. I'm with Adam, the snowman from Safe Wander, and also Kenneth, the CEO and founder of Safe Wander. So welcome to the show. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. And uh, tell us a little bit about what Safe Wander is. Sure. So Safe Wander is the world's first wearable sensor system that sends an alert to a caregiver's smartphone as soon as the patient starts to leave the bed. With one twist, it's very securely attached onto the patient's clothing, and it also allows a caregiver to receive alerts on his or her mobile device about a patient's wandering, no matter where the caregiver is. So. I'm going to do a brief demo here with Adam the Snowman. Okay. Adam's wearing the sensor, as you can see right, right here. There. It's attached onto his clothing. So as soon as Adam starts to rise from the bed, the sensor detects a change in body position and sends an alert to a caregiver's smartphone. So you can see Adam is off the bed. Very cool. Thank you. And so tell us a little bit about your story because you've got a unique story. You're 17, right? Yes, yes. And the CEO of a company, you know, some people are just trying to even make it out of high school <laughs> at that point. So uh, tell us a little bit about you know, how did this happen for you? Definitely. It's been an amazing journey so far and it really started about 13 years ago when I was walking in a park 13. with my... Yeah, when, 13 years ago when I was okay. just about four years four old. Four years old. <laughs> and my grandfather and I were walking in a park in Japan and at one point he suddenly got lost. And it was one of the scariest moments I've ever experienced in my life. And it was also the first incident that informed us that my grandfather had Alzheimer's disease. Okay. And over the years, his condition got worse and worse. And in particular, he started wandering out of bed at night. And one time, we actually found him there lying on the bathroom floor with blood trickling out of his head because he had, fa he had fallen as a result of his wandering. And we hadn't noticed that for about two hours. So we knew that wandering could pose serious consequences for my grandfather and my aunt kind soul that she is, volunteered to stay awake all night to keep an eye on him, and even then often failed wow. to catch him leaving the bed. Wow. So I just became very concerned about my grandfather's wandering and his safety, and also my aunt's well-being, so I really wanted to create a solution. And the first thing that I came up with was a sock sensor, which used changes in foot pressure applied by the patient. Right. So whenever a patient steps onto the floor, uh, the pressure applied by the foot changes. And the sensor would detect that and then send an alert to a caregiver's smartphone. So that was the first idea that I had. And then later on it developed into this button sensor that I'm now selling on my website. Right there? Yes, yes. Okay. And so I've had those two different prototypes and it's just really been an incredible journey. That's incredible. Um, Thank I you. love your story, and actually, I've taken a look at your website, and there's some great uh, press coverage that you've gotten, and Thank some you. great Thank videos. You. Yeah. So, if yeah. you want to see the true testimonial and the and the story behind Safe Wander, you should go to. Uh, where? To SafeWander? To SafeWander.com, yeah. Okay, excellent. Well, thank you so much, Kenneth, for thank joining you. us. A Great. pleasure having you in the Wonderful. studio. Thank you so uh, much. This is Laura Mitchell reporting to you live from Digital Health Summit Studio at CES 2016. Hi.